reporting on the games you love by people who love to game. The MMO Reporter Network. The Elder Scrolls Online and my experience with the Morrowind uh, exp- they are calling it an expansion officially uh, mm-hmm. and I'll, I'll talk about that in a second about why they're doing that but I had a few streams about that and I also uh, decided since the one Tamriel expansion and there are no levels you can go anywhere at any time and do anything so I started this new expansion with a brand new character I took my warden and I started right into Morrowind and I'm, I'm working through Vardenfell and so far, I'm really enjoying it. I'm going animal, animal Companion as my line for the Warden. Warden is uh, kind of a nature magic-based thing. So my particular way that I'm going is um, is Animal Companion. So I summon Animal Companions. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I will... I, I just got my bear, so I have a bear pet that I can have all the time. The rest of my summoning, though, is like a specific spell where birds will dive bomb an enemy to damage it and stuff like that. It's not that I will travel around with multitudes of pets around me all the time. Mm-hmm. And so the Warden itself, I, I still don't feel like I've played it enough to have a very detailed experience with it, but I think I've played it enough to know that I'm enjoying it, what I've done so far. I've played around with two-handed weapons, so big swords is my weapon, and bow, or with uh, destruction staffs. And I think I'm going to go with destruction staff, because that'll allow me to do a magicka build, which uh, mm-hmm. most of the abilities in the animal tree, uh, the animal companion skill tree, uh, will... Uh, it's not even a skill tree, but the skill line require magic only one of them has a, a stamina base to it so which the the bow and the two-handed weapon would both have so i'm going to be a mage din and that's cool. that's the thing in eso you 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 make names for your your subclass or your your way of playing your character right so there's like the the stam blade which is a stamina based knight blade right mm-hmm. so anyway so warden uh fun so far i'll i'll try and get through all of Morrowind before I give a final thought on that. I have been flying through the content in Morrowind, though. Um, I'm probably a quarter of the way, if not over a quarter of the way, done the entire landmass mm-hmm. in maybe four hours of gameplay. Um, oh. And so it's it's flying by. I don't know if the rest of the landmass is as... Um, as dense or less dense. So maybe the last quarter of the landmass takes me th- three times what every other chunk of it took, right? Like, you know how sometimes there's there's areas that are a lot of landmass, but not a lot of quests there to do? Mm-hmm. Maybe that's just the area I'm in now, or maybe it's equal throughout the whole zone. Uh, we'll have to wait and see the whole thing. I, I don't know. I've, I've really done my best to ignore other people's reviews or thoughts on the expansion until i'm done my own expansion so i i don't think i'm having enough fun yet that i can just outright say yep spend the money go and spend the 40 bucks or whatever that the the cheapest pack to buy this is or uh 39 bucks or whatever it ends up being i don't think i'm at the point where i can say just go out and get it now it's tons of fun if you're already playing ESO and you want more content, yeah, you know what? There's more content here for sure, and it's fun content and good stories and stuff like that. But if you are doing okay and 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 you're wondering if this is worth it, I'm not sure yet. I don't know. It's fun, but so I haven't there, finished it yet. There's nothing in the bonuses like the the dwarven war dog or the the uh, the treasure maps or anything like that that go along with buying it right now that make that. I got the one thing is there's there you get a crate so they have these ESO crates which are loot boxes basically that you can buy and you can get stuff loot uh, tons of games do loot boxes and I got crap like probably the worst thing you can possibly get I got like lock picks and a little bit a couple of potions right like ooh. Mm. There is a mount that's available through that, though, and I've seen pictures of people getting the mount for that, which is a really cool mount. Oh, but to get it through a loot box, that's just... Right. 
exactly, gross. Exactly. So there's that. Uh, the other, pre I mean, the horse looks nice, but it's a horse, right? It's, they, they got you a nice armored horse. It's super, and you know how I am about mounts, mm -hmm. but I think ESO is probably my least favorite mount system in any game. It's just, they're bland. All of them are just super duper bland. All of the mounts. So, oh, well, um, and none of the other pre-order bonuses I've really felt that I've got a, a, a leveling a uh, scroll that I could use, but with one Tamriel, why? Why do I need to get X? I guess I'd get my skills faster, but I'm doing fine. I don't, I don't, I don't need to level any faster. I'm enjoying hmm. myself. Um, so yeah, I, I, at this point, uh, it's still unsure. Uh, would I feel? Do I think anybody would feel bad spending the money? No. But I'm not sure if it's a go out and get it right now sort of don't, thing. Don't, 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 but I'm enjoying don't, it. Don't, don't, don't forget about yeah. your ults you need to cherish each and Thanks every for watching the video, everybody. Don't forget to check out all the other podcasts at mmoreporter.com or by clicking on any of the links here. And please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash mmoreporter. Thanks, everyone, and see you in game.